Before you begin any overclocking endeavors, it's important to know how to clear your NVRAM or you may find your machine will not post with wrong settings. To get started, we're going to disconnect the AC adapter. With the bottom cover removed, you'll find a screw next to the memory that's marked KB that needs to be removed. And you'll find a hole next to the CPU heatsink by the number 3. After you zip off the 9 screws that hold the bottom cover in place, this will give you access to the screw that retains the keyboard and the hole next to the number 3 on the CPU heatsink. Grasp with your fingertips in the front grills and separate the lower cover from the palm rest. Flip the machine over on its end. Open the display and leave it laying back on its display. This will give us access to the bottom. and We're going to use a screwdriver, push it through the hole next to the number 3 on the CPU heatsink label. That'll lift the keyboard out off the palm rest. Slide your fingers underneath and then slide your fingers across. And that'll release the tabs that hold it. And then you can slide the keyboard towards the screen to lift the tabs out of the base. With the keyboard face down, you'll find the coin cell battery. You want to use your thumbnail underneath it and push it towards the screen to release the tabs that hold it in place. This may be a bear to get loose at first. Just use firm pressure, and but be careful not to break the tabs. You only need to have the coin cell battery out for a couple of seconds and then reinsert it. And if you were careful, all the ribbon cables are still in place. You can put the keyboard back in place reinstall the screw that holds the keyboard and the bottom cover and we're ready to turn on the machine so let's go ahead and reconnect the AC adapter it's not necessary to disconnect or remove the large system battery for this process when you power the machine back on the screen is going to initially be black then you'll be greeted by a series of several messages that tell you that the CMOS had been reset and the NVRAM cleared it may take a couple more minutes for the BIOS to reestablish the correct settings. The screen may stay black for two or three minutes. And when it comes back up and you go into the BIOS, the first thing you're going to find is the date and time are wrong. You'll want to set those now. And then we want to go to the SATA configuration menu to confirm that our drives are set correctly to either AHCI or RAID, depending on your configuration. And that's it.